We pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And the Lord is with us, always calling us to himself and his eternal kingdom. Let us acknowledge our sins and ask his mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, Grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to his anointed Cyrus, whose right hand I grasp, subduing nations before him and making kings run in his service, opening doors before him and leaving the gates unbarred. For the sake of Jacob, my servant, of Israel, my chosen one, I have called you by your name, giving you a title, though you knew me not. I am the Lord, and there is no other. There is no God besides me. It is I who arm you, though you know me not so that toward the rising and the setting of the sun people may know that there is none besides me. I am the Lord, there is no other. The word of the Lord. Give the Lord glory and honor. Give the Lord glory and honor. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you 
lands. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples his wondrous deeds. Give the Lord glory and honor. For great is the Lord and highly to be praised. Awesome is he beyond all gods. For all the gods of the nations are things of naught. But the Lord made the heavens. Give the Lord glory and honor. Give to the Lord, you families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory to his name. Bring gifts and enter his courts. Give the Lord glory and honor. Worship the Lord in holy attire. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He governs the peoples with equity. Give the Lord glory and honor. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy to the church of the Thessalonians, in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace. We give thanks to God always for all of you, remembering you in our prayers, unceasingly calling to mind your work of faith and labor of love and endurance in hope of our Lord Jesus Christ before our God and Father, knowing, brothers and sisters, loved by God, how you were chosen. For our gospel did not come to you in word alone, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with much conviction. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Shine like lights in the world as you hold on to the word of life. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The Pharisees went off and plotted how they might entrap Jesus in speech. They sent their disciples to him with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. And you are not concerned with anyone's opinion, for you do not regard a person's status. Tell us then, what is your opinion? Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? <clears throat> Knowing their malice, Jesus said, Why are you testing me, you hypocrites? Show me the coin that pays the census tax. Then they handed him the Roman coin. He said to them, Whose image is this and whose inscription? 
They replied, Caesar's. At that he said to them, Then repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. The Gospel of the Lord. I suppose most of us can think back over our lives and recognize that over the years, over the decades, we've heard one story after another of the fighting, the warfare, the bloodshed in the Middle East, in Syria, in Palestine, Iraq, and Iran. And when we study the scriptures, we see it's been going on a long time. Here in the first reading from Isaiah, we hear the Lord speaking to Cyrus. He's depicted by the prophet, calling him his anointed one, who will do his work. That must have been shocking to Jews. God is going to use a pagan, a pagan emperor, Yes, but Cyrus was the leader of the Persians, and they would conquer the Babylonians. And so it was Cyrus, the pagan, who decided to let the Jews end their exile in Babylon, go back to Jerusalem, Judah, and their homeland. God would deliver his people using the political power politics of the ancient world to save his people from exile. And that story is used to prepare us for today's gospel. Will we hear again the enemies of Jesus, the Pharisees, the Herodians, thinking that they've got a way to trap Jesus, to embarrass him, to cause him trouble. They would ask him, if they should pay the census tax to Caesar, the head of the Roman Empire, which had conquered their land, was ruling them. And they knew very well if he said, yes, pay the tax, many of his people would be very upset. They hated paying tax to the nation, the empire that had conquered them, that was ruling them. But if he said no, then the Romans would be upset, and they would come and arrest him as a rebel. So we know how Jesus turned the table, for he recognized all the nice words they said in the beginning of the gospel about him. It was just phony, empty words. They wanted to trap him. And so he called them hypocrites, but so they were. And so he asked them to show him the coin. It was a Roman coin that had to be used to pay the tax, rendered to Caesar what is Caesar's, and to God what is God's. Yes, we are citizens of this world, citizens of this nation and state. And we are also citizens of the eternal kingdom of God. And so we too render to Caesar. We pay our taxes, we accept the responsibility and the privilege of voting. We do all that a good citizen does in obeying the laws, helping to make our society more just, a pleasing society to our God. And yes, we know we don't belong here. We will not remain here. We are on our way. The words of the Eucharistic prayer even speak to us of being a pilgrim people, a people on a journey to our homeland, out of the exile of this world, on our way to the eternal kingdom of our God. And so indeed, we pay full attention to our 
responsibilities as citizens of this world, this nation, but also always remembering we are citizens of heaven, living in exile, always a pilgrim people on our way to our homeland of heaven. We renew our commitment of faith as we pray to the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Through Jesus, our great High Priest and Savior, we present to our God and Father our petitions for the Church, our world, our nation, and our personal needs. Our response, Lord, hear our prayer. That all members of the Church may be good citizens of our nation and fulfill our responsibilities to help make our society more just and pleasing to our God, we pray. Lord, For all who risk their lives and well-being to serve and protect us and our freedoms and our property, we pray to the Lord. Lord for all suffering from recent storms and wildfires and other natural disasters as they seek to rebuild their lives and communities, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For may, that many will accept the Lord's call to bring his word, his truth, and his love to people as priests and religious, we pray. Lord, for Dorothy Rich, Bob Davis, Tony Catrona, Susan Watkins, Ray Altamura, Jim Fadina Sr., Nicole Miller, and all affected by the coronavirus and restrictions, for all who suffer with them and care for them, we pray. 
for Nick Amorosin, for whom this Mass is being offered, and for all the faithful departed who have died in Christ, that they may rejoice in eternal life and peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pause in silence to remember our personal needs. In confident trust, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we who are citizens of your eternal kingdom and our earthly civil society, ask your blessing upon us and our nation. Help us to serve you well and influence our nation for good and for true justice and freedom. This we pray through Christ our Lord. My sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty and loving Father. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Heaven and earth are full of 
full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Luke, with St. Helena, and with all the saints, on his constant intercession in your presence, 
we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis our Pope, and Francis our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O oh merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, especially Nick Amoroso, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior. Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. We should. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. On us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please join in singing our communion hymn, number 725, Blessed Are They, number 725.
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be sure to take with you a copy of our parish bulletin and the latest edition of the diocesan newspaper. Our Christmas Bazaar information and chances have been mailed out to you. We hope that you receive them quickly. Anything that you can do to help us make our Bazaar a great success will be appreciated. We will be having it in the first weekend of November. And also the Bluegrass concert will be today at 4 p.m on the green. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We go in the peace of Christ. Have a beautiful day. Our going forth hymn is number 426, for the fruits of this creation, number 426.